so we'll look good for the funeral. <laughs> Jamie, it's me, Harriet! Vicky, find out what that pest wants. I'll get the ball. Hi, Vicky. Can the incredible hunk come out and play? The pest wants to know if the incredible hunk can come out and play. <laughs> Tell her I'm busy. The hunk is busy. That's okay. I'll come in and play. Vicky, that's the last time I call on you for pest control. <laughs> what you watching? The baseball game. I wish you'd catch spring fever instead of baseball fever. <laughs> Harriet, I gotta watch this and pick up some pointers. My baseball team starts practice next week and I'm the catcher. I'll watch with you. A woman should always be interested in what her man is doing. <laughs> Harry, do you mind sitting someplace else? Anything to please my man. <laughs> Cleveland would be better. <laughs> Teach me about baseball, Jamie. Sure. You know what they mean when they say you're out? I'm not sure. I'll show you. Now, watch closely. You're out! <laughs> you know what you look like? <laughs> you look like a pack of bubble gum. Chew on it, Ted. <laughs> so, Jamie, you ready to go to the ballpark for a little practice? Huh? I've been ready all winter. Reggie's going to meet us there. Ted, look at the door. All right, what happened to the door? And don't try to tell me termites. Well, a termite named Vicky. <laughs> but I guess it's my fault as much as hers. We should get dressed up nice so we look good for the funeral. <laughs> look on the bright side, Ted. Now we've got a pass-through window for cookies. <laughs> Well, Jamie, just be more careful what you tell her, all right? Okay, let's get going. You too, Vicky. You're going to learn all about baseball. I already know about baseball. Oh, is that so? I'll show you. <laughs> now watch closely. You're out! <laughs> Hey, Reg. You know, if you guys play really hard this year, maybe you can finally beat the Mugwumps and go all the way to the championship. Championship? I set up for next to last place for once. We really stuck up the bar part. Yeah, so many teams walked all over us. Our mascot was the doormat. <laughs> and our sponsor gave up on us. We don't even have uniforms this year. Well, maybe you could talk to the president of your company, Ted. United Robotronics sponsors lots of youth projects. That's a good idea, honey. 
Okay, let's start with a little batting practice. So, Reggie, you hit. Jamie, you catch. And I, I will pitch. Wait till you see my world-famous Fernando ball. Fernando Valenzuela? No, Fernando Lamas. <laughs> it looks marvelous, darling. You really do. You really look marvelous. That really stunk up the ballpark. <laughs> Ted, you haven't played in a long time. Don't overdo it. Relax, Joni. I'm in great shape. Once a jack, always a jack, huh? Can I play? Yeah, sure, honey. Uh, here, why don't you take this and go to the outfield and uh, shag some flies? Oh, that sounds like fun. Do I put this on my hand? <laughs> oh, Vicky, go over there and stand out of the way. Come on, Mr. Lawson. Give me your best shot. Think you can handle it? Hey, my dad didn't name me Reggie for nothing. When I come to the plate, the crowd goes, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. <laughs> Glaze it on in here. Okay, here comes my Fernando fastball. I think I threw something out. You look marvelous, darling. Really, you're simply marvelous. <laughs> Ted, what happened? I think I pulled a muscle. Where? Everywhere. Even my hair hurts. Oh. I think I better take you home. Okay, kids, I'll be back by dinner time, okay? Okay. Hope you feel better, Dad. Me too. Ted, maybe an ice pack will help. I had a better idea. Put my whole body in the freezer. What do we do now, Jamie? There's no one here to pitch. Hey, maybe Vicky can pitch to us. A girl pitch? Are you kidding? Oh, what have we got to lose? Besides, I've sort of been working with her. This is a waste of time. Vicky, remember that picture you saw on television this morning? I remember. Well, I want you to throw the ball just like he did, as hard as he can. Got it? Got it. <laughs> okay, batter up, Reggie. Come on, Vicky. See if you can at least get the ball to me. <laughs> wow! Strike one! Beginner's luck. She can do that again in a million years. Think so? Do it again, Vicky. I'll be this time. Slow it down for Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> Slow it down for Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> Strike two. Um, so she got lucky again, and my foot slipped. There's no way she can strike me out. Oh, no. Vicky, show him a curve ball. Show him a curve. <laughs> strike three, four, five, and six. You're out twice. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. Vicky. You're the best pitcher I ever saw. Vicky, 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 Vicky. Ow, 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 ow. I'm sorry, honey. You should have listened to me. Your body isn't in the same shape it was 20 years ago. My body isn't in the same shape it was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> well, I think you better limit your involvement with Jamie's baseball team with finding the sponsor for it. Yeah, why don't I call the president of my company right now? Do you think you should bother him at home on a Sunday? He, he won't mind. Bob's my buddy. I mean, we are like this. Oh. 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 Bobby. Hi. Ted here. Ted Lawson. Yeah, listen, how would uh, United Robotronics like to sponsor a kid's baseball team? 
Lawson. One, one of your engineers. <laughs> L-A-W-S-O-N? <laughs> well, it was just a thought, you know. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I don't need to repeat it. <laughs> well, if you insist, sir. I will never, ever call you again at home on a Sunday, as long as you like. <clears throat> like this, huh? I meant, uh, this is me. Man, Vicky really knows how to throw a baseball. Too bad we don't have Soren Art to make a pitch like her. Yeah, we could finally beat the Mugwumps. The Mugwumps? We could beat the Dodgers. <laughs> hey, why can't Vicky pitch for us? Because Coach Simpson will allow girls on the team. You know she's a girl. I know she's a girl. But Coach Simpson doesn't know she's a girl. That's a dumb idea. But without Vicky, we're dead and buried again. How are we going to convince the coach she's a boy? Piece of cake. It's goodbye, Vicky. Hello, Victor. <laughs> Still trying to find a sponsor for Jamie's team? Yeah, this is harder than I thought. Hi, my name is Ted Lawson. I was wondering if you'd like to sponsor a kid's baseball team. They're a wonderful bunch of kid. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, thanks anyway. Who were you calling? Oh, it was uh, Wally's Delicatessen. Uh, he says they can't sponsor us, but for opening day, he'll donate a baseball made out of chopped liver and a bat made out of a kosher pickle. Hi, Mrs. Lawson. Hi, yeah, uh, Jamie's in his room. Thanks. Hey, Reggie. Hi, Mr. Lawson. Keep trying to find a sponsor, Ted. Hey, Reggie. Okay, I'm here. Why'd you call me to race right over? You'll see. Say hello to the baseball team's new strikeout king. Come on out, Victor! <laughs> hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. She's a closet boy. <laughs> there is no way the coach is going to look at her and suspect she's a girl. Yeah, but looks aren't everything. She'll give herself away the first time she walks up to the pitcher's mill. And you know how girls walk. <laughs> I see what you mean. Victor, my boy, you're gonna have to learn how to walk like a jock. Watch me. <laughs> you call that a walk? Watch the master. You gotta walk cool. <laughs> Ow. See what I mean? I see what you mean. You also have to talk like a jock. Listen closely. Yo, after practice, let's cruise the arcade for some action, stud. <laughs> Why did you slap him on the behind? The jocks do that all the time on TV. Yeah, of course, when a jock talks to a girl, it's different. You don't slap a girl on the behind? Only if you want a fat lip. <laughs> a jock has to talk smooth to the ladies, like this. Hey, sweet cheeks. What's shaking with the little mama's bacon? Hi, Jamie. Hi, Reggie. We're busy, Harriet. Who's the new jock? You mean, you don't know? Uh-uh. But he's cute. Well, this is our cousin, Victor. Hi, Victor. Hey, sweet cheeks. What's shaking with the little mama's bacon? <laughs> hey, you're my kind of guy. Jamie, if you don't treat me nice, I may have to dump you for Victor. Remember, to the Victor go the spoils. Well, there's nobody more spoiled than you, Harriet. What? Goodbye, Harriet. See you later, Victor. All right. Now, if we can fool Harriet, we can fool anyone. We just got to be careful that my folks don't find out. We're in this together, right? Right. Anytime you need me, I am here. Kids. 
I am gone. <laughs> Why is Vicky dressed like that? I'm not Vicky. I'm Victor, the new strike out king. Victor? And sweet cheeks, what shake him with the little mama's bacon. <laughs> Boy, are you gonna howl when you hear this? You may howl after I hear. <laughs> well, you see, I dressed Vicky up to look like a boy because Coach Simpson doesn't allow girls on the team. Keep going. Well, pitching tryouts are Saturday, and with Vicky on the team, we're sure to win the championship. Forget it. Vicky, go change your clothes. It's goodbye, Victor. Hello, Vicky. <laughs> Jamie, how could you think of doing such a thing? It wouldn't be fair to have a robot on the team. How would you feel winning the championship, getting the trophy, getting a picture in the paper, all that publicity, knowing that you cheated? I could live with that. <laughs> Jamie, it's not whether you win or lose that's important. It's how you play the game. But we play it so badly. We can't win without Vicky. <sighs> Jamie, winning the championship isn't a matter of life and death. You're right, Dad. It's much more important than that. <laughs> Coach Simpson, I've got one more picture for you to try out. This is my cousin, Victor. Hiya, Victor. Yo, after practice, let's cruise the arcade for some action, stud. <laughs> <laughs> Great sense of humor, huh? You should see his pitching. He's fantastic. Well, he doesn't have to be fantastic to be on this team. All he's got to do is reach home plate and one bounce or less. He could do better than that, Coach. Even I can't get a hit off Victor. It doesn't tell me much, Reggie. All right, Victor. Go on out to the mound and show me what you got. Show you what I've got. <laughs> As hard as I can. What a fastball! Holy smokes! The fastball's not even his best pitch, Coach. Wait till you see his curve. That I gotta see. Victor, throw him your curveball. The curveball. <laughs> what an arm! I don't believe it. I told you so, Coach. Come on in, Victor. It's a miracle. I've been waiting my whole life for a pitcher like this. Victor, you're gonna take us to the championship. We'll make jumps of the mug once. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, he's a she. Uh, yeah, Coach. Victor's really my sister, Vicky. I thought he walked a little funny. I only dressed her up to look like a boy because of your rule about no girls on the team. Dummy, that only applies to girls who don't throw the ball 90 miles an hour. You mean Vicky can be on the team? Be on the team. She is the team. Yeah! yeah. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Just as I thought. That little stinker brought Vicky down here when I specifically told him not to. Sure wants to win badly. Okay, Vicky, get back out on that mound and show me what other pitches you can throw. What other pitches I can throw? <laughs> Jamie, there isn't a team in the league that can beat us now. Vicky is our secret weapon. <laughs> yeah, right. Jamie, how could you even think of doing such a thing? It wouldn't be fair to have a robot on the team. How would you feel knowing you cheated? Uh, coach. Could you hold it a second? I have to talk to my sister. Sure, kid. Vicky, change in plans. Remember the other day when Dad threw his famous Fernando ball? It looked marvelous, darling. Simply marvelous. <laughs> right, listen closely. Got it? Got it. Okay, come. Let's go, Vicky. Knock me down again. Honey, robots can't get hurt. 
Don't you see what happened? Jamie programmed Vicky to imitate what happened to me last week. Our son's conscience got to him. What's the matter, honey? Where does it hurt? Everywhere. Even my hair hurts. <laughs> Gee, tough luck, coach. Looks like our star pitcher's got a glass arm. What we need is a pitcher with a mechanical arm. Hang in there, coach. They'll soon have robots pitching. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I can explain. You don't have to, Jamie. We saw what you did, and we're proud of you. Straighten up, Vicky. <laughs> Will Vicky be okay? Yeah, but we won't. We're back to finishing in last place again. Yeah, but you'll be the best-looking losers in the league. What do you mean? Well, I got a sponsor for your team. Here are your new uniforms. Huh? Black uniforms? Well, your, uh, your sponsor insisted on it. <laughs> a mortuary? It's perfect. Without me, you're going to be dead and buried again. <laughs> <laughs> She's a small 